Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko. We did some things in the Buccaneer Channel, Cut Cheese Island, in the last video, and now we're gonna do more things. I pretty much have an idea of just w where everything else is, except for maybe one thing. And that's one of the bonus coins. But I'm pretty sure I may find it accidentally along the way. If not, it'll be in the next video. Let's get it on. Thankfully, I know where all the fly coins are. And I know where the other two remotes are as well, as well as what to do. And for the second one, we kind of have to go down there. Okay, so that is the second one. I kept thinking that's the third one. Thankfully, I know where the third one is. So anyway, we're starting this level all over again. We need to get all the fly coins, which means I have to go through that one thing in that one room one more time. Yes, I know that's there. Thank you, game. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself an 8th hit, because I don't have all the necessary extra hits yet. I wouldn't say necessary, but, well, they're necessary if you want 100%. Let's put it that way. Okay, that was a little too low. Perfect. Alright. That's right, I don't need to push this bone this barrel because I already got the bonus coin that is here. Okay. Now to get over to here. Forget about it. And start exploring again. Which means I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of this is from Mr. Sinatra. fly coins just by going around here. Let's go ahead and take care of that rat first. And that pot and that and that skeleton buccaneer there. I'm glad that I figured out you can just karate kick those guys and take care of them real quick. Speaking of taking care of things real quick, let's get all the fly coins that are here. Had to scratch my mustache there for a second. I had to scratch the old facial hair there. And, hmm. Have I done everything? Not yet. Not, not yet. Let's go ahead and push this barrel over here so that way we can finally take care of these two things. So, now that I know what to do for these two things... And by these two things, well, basically I mean everything. This shouldn't be too hard. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in 20 minutes time. But I should be able to have some things figured out as I do all of this. Speaking of having things all figured out, I finally learned how to jump on those barrels a little better. Which is all right, I guess. Show me the money, and in case I mess any of this up, I can easily just karate kick jump my way over to the checkpoint. But let's see if we can do this the proper way. We can. Okay, good. Once again, you want to watch your shadow on all these jumps, but once you manage to figure out how to do that, getting around is pretty easy. Also, I forgot that I do that when I hit a checkpoint, so I kind of need to remember that that is a thing that happens. If you have a fly buzzing around you when you hit a checkpoint, Gex is going to eat the bug. I guess they couldn't make an exception for when you hit a checkpoint. And yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get that cannon ready. Have we ever used the cannon for anything? Oh! That's how you get up there. 
I wonder. Ah, this is how you're supposed to beat him up. I get it now. That makes a lot more sense. Because I just now remember that I never went to that cannon even though I easily activated it. Turns out you're not supposed to fight him like I did in the first video, though you can if you want. You're really supposed to use that cannon. I do like the fact that they hide or try to defend themselves against a cannonball even though they're skeletons. Like, them doing the duck and cover like they're under an imaginary table during an imaginary earthquake isn't really going to help them any. But they do it. It's a nice touch. I'm not particularly mad about that. As a matter of fact, I find that kind of endearing. Right. Spike wall. I need to remember that's a thing. Also, that was the first hole. This is the one I wanted. Speaking of things that I want, I definitely want these fly coins. Right. Okay. So. We'll follow you, I haven't really talked about my enjoyment of the game so far. My enjoyment of the game has been alright. There are some things that I can have a rightful complaint about, such as how some of the enemies work and how are we doing here okay we're doing fine on hits let's make sure we do fine on hits even longer oh right 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 we need to do this thing let's hide over here just to be safe I know the spike wall is gonna come back down again so let's go ahead and make sure that we don't get hurt a whole bunch as we do everything because again I got to do this if I want to get all 100 fly coins and, you know, get all the remotes and 100% of everything in the game. I mean, I've done it for the first two games. I would like to do it here. That was a nice dodge. And... Let's get all the way over there. Let's do the karate kick. Perfect. Now, I'm going to have to eat this to get the extra life. But I'm glad I got the extra life. Drop down. Drop down again. Let's karate kick our way out to here and let's go ahead and grab this extra hit again I'm gonna get a drink of tea perfect all right now to get back up there and let's not sully this up I don't want to accidentally grab that remote even though I've already grabbed it I mean as much as I would like to grab that remote again I've already gotten it Okay, we are now here on the outside of the ship. There's really not much else to this area, amazingly. And we are on one side of the ship. We need to see if we can get to the other. Also, we will have to do a little bit of dropping down here, not only for some fly coins, but also to beat up a skeleton buccaneer as well as go through these doors. When we go through these doors, there will be cannons. We need to get on the cannons just by just by standing on the little gecko paw print thing. And we just need to keep hitting these ships just by aiming with the control pad and firing with square until these things go down. There are four of them in all. And apparently they take two hits to kill. The first one, one will always set the thing on fire. Okay. I guess you just need a really clean shot. 
But if you keep getting like hit, if you keep hitting anything other than a boat, it appears you actually do damage to the ship, which is kind of cool because it kind of tells you, hey, you're getting the hang of this. Also, I need to go the other way. Also, there is a paw print coin down here. I almost forgot about that. I should look around in these rooms. See if there is anything. Now, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Can I hit the painting? No, I cannot hit the painting. Okay. And apparently... It is possible to go beyond the water. And missed the mark entirely. There we go. I need to look around a little bit. Maybe I might actually find, like, the last bonus coin or something. Also, these gunpowder barrels, you cannot move them. There are a few in the area. I should mention them. And I keep thinking that if I hit a hit a painting, I might actually open a path to the bonus area. No, not the bonus area, but the bonus coin. I'm not even hitting the water. I'm hitting him though. Can we hit him now? Can we hit him now? Come on. Maybe we can hit him now. There we go. And we just get a little TV turn off effect where this remote shows up. That was amazing, sir. Well done. And our turtle butler friend is continuing to praise us as we go through these levels, which is nice. Have I been in here already? I feel like I should hit something. I also don't know if I've looked around anywhere in here. I know I'll find it when I least expect it, that last bonus coin. I know I'm going to find it somewhere, somehow. In the meantime, though, I do want to explore more of the ship. I haven't gotten these two coins yet. And now I want to explore the rest of the ship. So let's go ahead and climb up the ropes and get over here. There is the third remote. The one where you have to zip down to the TV. I do want to go over there actually because there are some fly coins that we can pick up. And I need to press L2 a couple times. Okay, I just need it to be in, like, close range. This is the only way I'm going to effectively gauge this, because we need to do some platforming, which will give us the paw print coin, by the way. There we go. I can press it one more t press L2 one more time, and we can do this. Now, we are over here now. There is no almost nothing here, but there is a rope that takes us down there. We don't necessarily have to use that. We can just karate kick our way over here. Somehow I managed to beat up that parrot. You just have to get it to just stay stay in place in the air and then have it dive at you. Then you can just sidestep and hit it. But for some reason, I pretty much made the mark with my, the karate kick on the way down, which was really cool. And now I need some difference between me and this guy. Or not. Okay, sure, I can do that. Now, before I go over there any further, okay, cool, I didn't, I did hit that. Wanted to make sure. We want to jump on this rope, make our way over to this mast again, and turns out there are some skull designs here, which tells us, hey, you can go over here. You can climb up this thing. And let's take this guy on head on. Isaac. 
Thankfully, he was far away from me. It is possible for him to be close to you and have this become a very bad situation. Because I know that happened in the practice run, and I thought I was going to die. Now, let's... Really? Really, game? We're going to do this? Well, we could... Why didn't I not hit this? I am the Perhaps it was good that I dropped down here after all. Good going, me. But we can make our way back over here. And we can make our way to... That was weird. I was climbing and the game just decided not to let me climb anymore. That was weird. Whoa, hey. Yeah, I said earlier that I had some complaints about this game, and one of them is the camera. It is possible to have a bad time because of the camera. And I want to drop down by pressing X before I go to that remote. Okay, you can't land on the remote. Ow. Where is the parrot? Parrot. I kind of need you to fight me. Whew. This is not fun. There we go. There we go. And that's how you get to that remote, but I don't want that quite yet. Also, wow, I have been recording for 17 minutes. Th I didn't think I'd be here this long. Already. Wow. Um, that is something. Also, don't worry about those cannons over to the sides. They don't lead to anything. They're not like some weird hidden platform that leads to anything. You're, you're, you're not missing out on anything on that front. And I've gone, aside from losing a few shields, just mostly hitless. I'm pretty sure I've gotten hit a few times, but it's going to be doing well. Also, you can stand on that. Who knew? So, anything over here? No, doesn't seem like it. We can walk up this mast, which is pretty cool. I do want to go over here, because I believe that gives us... Yeah, that gives us our last paw print coin. How are we doing on totals? Okay, we just need the bonus coin. That's like the only thing le that I don't know anything else about. And I want to keep going up the mast rather than go to that rope because that's going to take us to the thing there. And yeah, that should give us the... that. Yeah, we should have 96 at this point. We should be... We should be good as far as... Okay, you don't have... To, you can just walk to that carefully. Cool. I don't have to worry about that. Now to grab the fly coin here. Go all the way down here. There's the last fly coin. There's the second remote. And if you need to go back upwards for any reason, you can take this platform. Just be very careful after you use it the first time because it goes back and forth very quickly. It does not stop for long. And it'll take you back to where the gunpowder barrel is on the on this side of the ship, I should say. The side of the ship you don't come out inside from. And you'll be able to switch to the other side if you need to. But we've gotten everything that we need. I'm going to look around in case anything happens. I don't want to look for the bonus coin anymore. Maybe I should look around a little more, but 
Well, we've done our 20 minutes. We've gotten three out of four remotes. We have almost everything done in this world, which is amazing. I'm surprised I only did like one remote here. But to be honest, I didn't think this would take as long as it did. But hey, I don't have to do the climbing in the room with the spike wall ever again. So that works out for me. I can just worry about getting enough for the extra life and then I can just get everything else and then just head on to the next world. Which is what we're gonna do in the next video. Join me next time where we continue to get the last of everything in the Buccaneer program, Cut Cheese Island, and move on. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!